What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Beyond the Berm. Today we're going to be going over my latest purchase which is the Velocity Trigger. Now the founder of Velocity Triggers worked for Timney for a very long time. After finding out that information I thought it would be worth a shot to give these triggers a try. One of my friends who hopefully will be making appearances on here he owns a velocity trigger, the same one that I ended up purchasing. It is the four pound model and I do not have a trigger pull gauge but I'm pretty confident that these things leave the factory set at four pounds. Now they give you options for a flat face trigger or a slightly curved trigger. I opted for the more traditional curved trigger. Flat face triggers don't really do it for me but that's personal preference and you at least have the option. Another option is to go with the three pound, three and a half pound, or four pound. Now this is going to dictate what exactly the purpose of your rifle is. If you're looking for more of a uh, long range shooting style, you might want to get a little bit lighter trigger. But here, for this one, this is a defensive gun, I opted for the four pound. Now a one pound difference might not sound like a lot, but trust me, it makes a, a big difference. So, as I'm talking, I'm going to roll in a picture of the actual trigger group prior to installation as I already have it installed in my Spikes Honey Badger Lower Receiver. As you'll be able to see, it, was, it came packaged in a nice green anodized steel, I believe, steel or aluminum housing. It has set screws at the bottom to make sure that it's putting some upward pressure on the actual trigger pins. Here I have the KNS anti-rotational pins, which they do say you can use. So I don't necessarily need those set screws, but it is a nice failsafe. Now, I will say I'm definitely pleased with this trigger. It's been flawless for the past three to 400 rounds that I've shot. Um, that's not really a huge amount, but I'm sure it's going to keep on going. It should keep on trucking. I don't see why it wouldn't. So, I'm going to quickly show you the actual reset and break on the trigger. I've checked clear on this. So I'm going to make sure that it's clear again for you guys. See in there? Nothing. So I'm just going to pull the trigger so you can see the reset. Very short. Now there is absolutely zero take up on this. Nothing. Now for the break. Super crisp very minimal to no creep whatsoever very good I'm definitely pleased with this for the price that you're paying for a lot of other trigger systems you end up with probably just about the same honestly I ended up getting this trigger system for right around 120 bucks which really isn't bad. You can find them on sale sometimes, which I did. You can see that nice green drop-in housing. Extremely well finished. It, they use uh, Robar's NP3 coating on the hammer and sear surfaces and everything. It's very nice. Definitely pleased with my purchase. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to put them down in the comment section. Uh, feel free to message me post on social media, any of those things. As always, I appreciate your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. I hope to be hearing from you. Thanks, guys.